So lying down on your back, letting go, tune in and relax. And then draw up your knees, come to semi-supine position. Start as usual with arch and flatten. Rolling pelvis forward to arch, slowly release. And then dropping the back, tucking the tail under, tightening the belly, and then slowly release. And now roll over onto your front and lie with your head turned to the right, with your right arm, elbow out to the side, fingers pointing in towards your face, left hand down by your left hip. First of all, raise just your elbow up towards the ceiling. Feel the tightening on the top of your shoulder at the back. Release from the centre line, slowly lower, listening out for those jumps and bumps. Have a soft landing. It's all about the slowness of the release. That's where you make the change. And now press down into your hand and lift your head. First of all, place your other hand in the small of your back. Then you'll feel the muscles activated. If, as you lift your head, feel under your hand. Feel those muscles working and turn as if to look round over your shoulder. Slowly lower your head and feel the muscles of your back returning to rest. Switch everything off before you start again. Lift now your hand and your elbow and your head all together. This is a heavier thing to lift, so probably you'll feel your legs engage, particularly your opposite leg. So slowly lower yourself down and come to rest. Let everything go. The opposite leg, your left leg, has a nice diagonal relationship with your right shoulder. So let's lift that leg on its own and feel the connection. So the straight leg just lifts up. See if you can feel how it lightens your head and even connects with your right shoulder. Slowly release from your back and lower yourself down to rest slowly. Make sure everything switches off before you start again. Combine all of those movements, so lifting head, elbow, hand and opposite leg. There's your back lift. Feel that diagonal tightening across the back and lengthening across the front. Everything coordinates and lands at the same time, slowly switching off and coming to rest. Switch sides, right hand by your side, left hand by your face, head turning to the left. We'll just repeat that. Raise left elbow, feel the tightening, feel your whole shoulder blade move. Slowly release from the center line. Make sure you have a soft landing. Place the opposite hand in the small of your back so you can feel and lift your head. 
Feel the muscles switch on, particularly on the left side, as you turn your head to the left and look round. Slowly release and feel it lengthen as it switches on. And now lift head, elbow and hand together and feel the opposite leg switch on at the back. Feel that diagonal relationship between shoulder and hip. Slowly lower it down. Switching everything off. Anything else that's switched on, just slowly switch it off. Opposite leg on its own. Lifting it straight. Feel, the, feel how it connects to your head and your opposite shoulder. Lower it down, slowly switching it off. And come to rest. And then the full back lift, head, hand, elbow and opposite leg. Feel the diagonal shortening across the back, lengthening across the front. Slowly come to rest. And have a little pause. To integrate both sides, drop your forehead onto the floor, both arms down behind you, down to your hips, sorry, and then roll back both shoulders, leaving your head on the floor, slide the shoulder blades down towards the waist, and then slowly release, releasing the muscles on the back of the shoulder blades. And then one final move to integrate everything. Roll the shoulders back, lift the head, lift both legs and look up. Tightening the whole of the back of the body and lengthening the front. Slowly come to rest. And now roll back over onto your back. Have your knees drawn up into semi-supine. And then just release and relax by flattening your back into the mat. Feel your belly tighten. And release. And then arch your back. And release. If you want to go one more time, go ahead. And then slowly straighten out the legs and pause to notice any changes. <laughs>